What Eats What in an Ocean Food Chain, written by Susan Slade, illustrated by Zach McLaughlin. Colorful corals, fish, and plants live together in the oceans. They are all part of food chains. Energy in a food chain is passed from one living thing to the next. Most food chains rely on the sun. Rays of sun shine through the waves to reach the plants and animals below. Bright corals live on the ocean floor. Together, their skeletons form a coral reef. Tiny algae plants hide in the corals. The algae take in the sunlight. Producers use sunlight, water, nutrients, and air to make their own food. A shrimp crawls along the coral searching for food. A green sea turtle swims nearby. The two animals share a meal of algae. Consumer omnivore. A consumer eats plants or animals for energy. An omnivore eats both plants and animals. An herbivore eats only plants. Swish, swish, a hungry moon wrasse looks for lunch. With a flick of its tail, the fish gobbles the shrimp. Consumer, carnivore. A carnivore eats only other animals. Consumer, carnivore. A coral grouper hides out in the coral, waiting. Its wait ends when the moon wrasse swims by. A huge hunter look lurks nearby. The hungry shark makes its move. Gulp. The coral grouper is a tasty treat. Consumer, carnivore. But even the mighty shark doesn't live forever. Bristle worms and crabs feed on its body. Consumer, scavenger. A scavenger eats mainly dead plants or animals. Tiny bacteria break down what's left of the shark. Decomposers. Decomposers break down dead plants and animals. Their waste is used as nutrients by plants. The bacteria turn the shark's body into nutrients. Other sea animals and plants will use the nutrients to grow. And the food chain continues on. The End